Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, and today we are finally going to continue our playthrough of Resident Evil. And we got a lot to do here, so let's jump right into it. I'm going to take the crank, I'll take that little red herb and stuff that in the box. And we need to head out to the courtyard. Now it's been a while since I've recorded anything Resident Evil. I think the last time I did do anything, it was around the 25th of July. And it is now the 6th of August. It's 3.36 a.m. And I hope you all had a wonderful day. I had some pretty good days. I was on vacation, as I mentioned, in Phantasmagoria. But today, I woke up and I was greeted with something that I didn't expect. Normally, when I wake up and I'm off, I make my coffee and I go play a little World of Warcraft. I usually don't get much time, so I just do a random, get my frost badges, and maybe a couple dailies over at the tournament. Well, I go to log in, and it tells me that my password is invalid. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I check my email, and at 2 o'clock um, in the afternoon, I had woke up about 3. Get the fuck out of my way, you stupid dog. I want to get this herb. That was probably not a good move. No, it wasn't. Oh my god, that guy missed me somehow. Run, 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 run. Um, so I reset my password, but at 2 o'clock in the PM there, uh, someone else had tried to reset my password. And I did this around 3.15 or so. And I was like, shit, what just happened? So I get my password changed, and I try to log in, and it tells me that my account has been suspended. I check on the account management, and my account was suspended for, um, oh my god, they're all biting me, fuckers. It was suspended for 72 hours, and doing some research, that pretty much means that it was some sort of economy issue. Yeah, I caused the, wow, stock markets to crash. And, uh, or spamming or something like that, or real abusive behavior. And I'm like, motherfucker, I haven't done anything. I wasn't even playing last night, so I mean, I didn't do anything. Talk about, uh, innocent you know, before guilty. Well, in Blizzard's world, you're just guilty. Oh my god! Holy shit! Get me out of here. Oh my god, that dog scared the shit out of me. I'm trying to tell a story here. Oh my god, I had a heart palpitation again. So, <laughs> here's where the real nightmare began. I shot the shit out of that fucking dog. Yeah, you're all just screaming look at them bitches go down like ducks I felt like I was playing duck hunt might as well get this blue herb here and mix them all together that's pretty colorful reminds me of Christmas got a red blue and green um so I call their support and now they're supposed to send you an email telling you why your account was suspended I never got an email but all my account information is correct, I checked. So they just dropped the ball on that figures. So I call them, no, I can use the crank. And I wait on hold for about an hour and 15 minutes. And I got some guy and he wasn't really all that, that helpful. And I understand that their hands obviously are tied because this guy is like the lawyer. And the WoW admins are like the client. So I can't really have direct contact between the two parties. It's so stupid how that's all set up. I can't post on the forums because the account's suspended. So I can't go about it in that way. I call and they basically tell me, well, we're going to escalate it to the uh, admins. And I'm like, well, that doesn't help me, man. It's suspended for 72 hours. It's going to take like three days for them to even look into it. So it's all going to be settled by that time anyway. But the thing that really pisses me off is that they're basically treat me like a criminal. Yet I've subscribed to the game. Oh, get the fuck out of my way. Oh my god, I'm stuck. No, no. Is it behind me? I can't see. I basically have subscribed to the game since it came out of a perfect record. And it's like, what the hell, man? <laughs> they have to know that, like, 90% of their account compromises are all because of, you know, the spamming and all this, all because their accounts have been compromised. It's not because, you know, we're just all assholes. 
So, but so why do that? Why be like that? I understand. Okay, maybe you want to suspend the account so that they don't do anything else to it. But once I retake control of it, they should be able to lift the suspension. And that's what pisses me off, is the fact that they didn't. So, I'm kind of like between a rock and a hard place with that. You know, I don't really think that's fair. And I'm really tempted, as much as I love the game, to just be like, you know what, Enrico, fuck it. Don't come any closer, Chris. What happened? Double crosser. Enrico, wait. Enrico! Um, well, uh, Enrico! The top crosser. Yeah, that's how I felt after uh, my account suspension. I felt like I was double crossed. So it's just, it really, oh, I gotta talk to him. It just really pissed me off. I mean, that's all. <laughs> Killed with just one shot, yeah. Who could it be? Somebody who's got pretty damn good aim, I would say. What do you guys think? Now, he has the crank, the second crank, which is hexagonal in shape. Oh my god! You are the quickest hunter I've ever seen. Like that rackhead by the stairs scared the shit out of me too any more not sure that guy is dead I'm gonna run away anyway so that's my story guys I know it was kind of long and I don't really like talking about stuff like that because it, it just pisses me off to no end when I get screwed like that <laughs> now somebody said that they should be able to take the the suspension away because they do that all the time but I don't think so and the queue is just so long because their software is so bug rid oh my god that's a hunter too get away from me I hear one coming at me oh my god he ran so fast alright I think I killed two birds with one stone there But, you know, I call them, and I use a prepaid cell phone because it's actually uh, from my work, and that's how they prevent you from using it for personal business. They be prepaid and all. And whatever. It's just, oh, my God, it pisses me off. Let's get rid of this crank. We don't need it. I'm going to actually take another herb. Um, I'd really like to heal. I'm also going to take the magnum, and I'm going to reload the shotgun. And I'm going to get rid of the ammo for it. Or should I not get rid of the ammo? You know what? Uh, I'll just take the shotgun. It's easier for me to do that way. Do it that way. Oh, man, I'm just so pissed off. <laughs> so, how was your day? I spent nine minutes talking about that bullshit with my account, my World of Warcraftness. There's an herb there which I probably should have picked up because I don't think I'll be back. Oh, you know what? I will. There's a flamethrower here which we actually do have to pick up. Did somebody just walk through the door? Oh, yeah. It's a boulder. We're gonna do a little Resident Evil 4 here. actually lucky there because sometimes I get hit with that because I get stuck on the wall. I get hit all the time in Resident Evil 4 with boulders too. So now if we come up here we can get ourselves some shotgun shells and I think the hunter the hunter is going to come out and try to gank us but nope. I think he's here on the way back actually. This is the boss battle with the giant tarantula. 
this was a joke in the first one, and it honestly hasn't gotten any harder. It's a tiny bit more difficult, but just, just shoot him. Yeah, spew on me, bitch. Get your bitch ass out of here. Now there's gonna be these little tiny spiders. Just use that, get it out of my inventory. You do wanna make sure that uh, you leave and come back, but you wanna make sure that you don't leave too quick because then it respawns. There's a hunter here. Get over here, boy. Daddy's blowing hunters like you wouldn't believe today. Oh my god. For some reason, when it flailed its arm, it scares the hell out of me. A little jumpy today. <coughs> now there's two ways of disposing of the spider web that's on the door here. You can cut it with the knife. There's one in the corner where you can burn it. Since this flamethrower is virtually useless, aside from the fact that you need it to open a door, um, it's just best to get rid of it. If you're poisoned, you can go down the uh, other way, and there will be some stuff there. So, place the flamethrower, and I'm going to equip the shotgun, and we're going to head through this wonderful door here. Ugh, strange wall right there. Why would you put a wall in my way? And there's a hole right there. And another crank thingy majiki. This one you need to crank. That sounds perverted, I know. <laughs> you need to crank it three times. I think in the original you also have to do it three times. And as soon as you do it and it gets in the right spot, this boulder's gonna break loose. And you just run to the hole that you made in the left hand side. If you go the other way, um, I'm pretty sure it crushes you. So there's a first aid box with the first aid spray in it. I thought there was a hunter who came to pay me a visit here too, but I guess not. And now we're going to have a puzzle. This one's actually super stupid easy. There's a wheelie thing here, which uh, you'll need to rotate this statue thing. And we need to push this statue thing so that we can get it turned, or pushed out from the wall, actually not turned, but... <laughs> Let's use the crank. And you see how it's pushing it out from the wall. And then you use it again, and then I'll retract it. Now, it really doesn't matter. You could just push it off of there if you want. But I'm lazy, and... Whoa, my controller was spazzing out. Now, don't push it up against the wall. I've done that before. You need to push this twice to make it face the correct way. I don't know if there's actually, like, a special way you need to push it. Um, how do I want to do this? I think, I think if you come up at it, I don't really, I don't really know that it matters. Actually, I think it does, and I think I did this backwards. I think I wanted it on the side, but we'll see. Nope, that works for me. We're actually going to have to stop this video very, very soon. These are the new 15-minute ones. Gotta love it. I've been complaining about that for how long that they needed longer than 10 minutes. And it looks like YouTube heard me. Specifically me. Just me. That's all they cared about. They said, uh, Ozzy wants his uh, 15 minutes. We'll give it to him. Alright, guys. So I'm going to stop this video here. Thank you for tuning in. Take care and have a great day.